Good morning. How are you today? From the heart, uh, February 2nd. What do we sacrifice for heaven? Mark 12, verse 30 and 31. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, with all your strength. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. It's the month of love, right? <laughs> We see beauty and loveliness and glory in Jesus. We behold in him matchless charms. He was the majesty of heaven. Angels bowed in adoration before him and readily obeyed his commands. Our Savior gave up all. He laid aside his glory, his majesty and splendor and came down to this earth and died for a race of rebels who were transgressors against his father's commandments. Christ con condescended to humble himself that he might save the fallen race. He drank the cup of suffering and in its place offers us the cup of blessing. Yes, that cup was drained for us. And although many knew all this, <clears throat> yet they chose to go on in sin and folly. And still Jesus invites them. The truths of God's word must be brought to bear upon us and we must lay hold upon them if we do this. They will have a sanctifying influence upon our lives. They will fit us that we may have a preparation for the kingdom of glory, that when our probation shall close, we may see the king in his beauty and dwell in his presence forevermore. And now the question is, are we willing to make the sacrifice? Come out from among them and be you separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. And I will receive you and will be a father unto you. And you shall be my sons and daughters, said the Lord Almighty. What a promise is this? And do you think that by embracing the truth of God, you are degrading yourself? The truth elevates the receiver every time. It brings purity of character and purity of life and gives a fitness that we may join the heavenly company in the kingdom of glory. Without this fitness, we can never see the heavenly abode. Does the truth require you to stand alone in your position to serve God? Because others around you are not willing to yield to the claims that Christ has upon them, like Daniel? Does it require a separation in feeling from them? Yes, and this is the cross which you must bear. Which leads many to say, I cannot yield to the claims of the truth. But says Christ, if anyone love father or mother or brother or sister more than me, he's not worthy of me. Is this too great a sacrifice to make for him who sacrificed all for you? Hope you have a great day today. Live from the heart.